The Bible says, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. In this passage, the Jews are being afflicted and persecuted by the Egyptians, yet they are growing more and more. And this is a picture of a Christian who is under affliction, yet is spiritually growing. There is one spiritual guarantee in this life, is that if you want to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, you must suffer affliction. You must suffer with the Lord Jesus Christ if you want to be more like him. It is a truth that if you want to grow in muscle and you want to have more strength, you must suffer affliction under weight in the weight gym. And so you must suffer with the Lord Jesus Christ if you want to be like him and you want to grow in faith. 1 Peter 4, 12 through 16 says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, that ye may be glad with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. And on their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other man's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Brother or sister, if you want to be like the Lord Jesus Christ, you want to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, you must suffer with him. How can I know the man of sorrows acquainted with grief, if every hour I spend here praying for relief? A soldier of the cross won't live a life of ease. He must suffer with his Savior if he, his Lord, will please.